show more exciting action on international championship wrestling. Not only have you seen a Samoan, Shul Savoldi, the Raging Bull, now we're going to see a match that pits up the unpredictable Johnny Rods, but he just doesn't have any test today. It's going to be a little harder test because his opponent, the people's champion, the all-American boy, Bob Macklin. And he's carrying something he's very proud of. champion that's his belt you got to see this and he believes in it it's his they this was given to him by the people the kids made this, the for, me. Kids made this for him and this let me tell you something it's it's more valuable to him than a hundred ounces of gold because this was given to him by the kids his fans this should be one heck of a match Bob Backlund Johnny Rods two that know each other very well. Johnny Rods has always wanted a match against Backlund the champion and his dream is coming through right here on International Championship Wrestling. One thing we will not do in International Championship Wrestling. Anyone, anyone who wants a match with anyone else may get it. Because if, if you're going to shy off these opponents, then you have no right to enter that square circle. That's why you'll see matches that you think should come out of heaven right here on International Championship Wrestling. Now, Johnny Rods, all the time he don't gave to this profession, just for one chance, at Bob Backlund. Whoa, nice takedown by Rods. Backlund takes, turns him over. Nice move by Backlund. I'll tell you something. You're going to see some wrestling here. scientific Johnny Rods because he knows he can't get away with all those tricks he's used on some of the newcomers that come into the squared circle because uh, Bob Backlund, the champion, has been the champion for a long time. We hear the whole crowd yelling, Bobby, Bobby. Rods Backlund moves out of the way. Both men eyeing each other up. Bobby's going for a handshake, and I'll tell you what, Johnny Rods, he means it. One thing with Backlund, he appreciates his opponents, and that's why he's been champion for so long, because he does appreciate the opponents. And I'll tell you, just standing here looking at this one belt that was given to him. It's made on a piece of styrofoam. Bob Backlund, the real champ. And I'm sure he's very proud of it. Another one's made out of tin. And it says, the World Wrestling Federation real heavyweight champion, Bob Backlund. I'll tell you what, I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there that feel the same way Bob Backlund does. And I gotta say, I do too. Being a referee, we know the rules. You can only lose on a submission and or by a pin. Not taking anything away from the Hulk. Don't ever get us wrong. But the Hulk would have never had the opportunity to wrestle the Sheik. He should have wrestled Backlund for the championship. Maybe, who knows? Backlund would have still been champion. Possibility. Hogan might possibly still be the champion today. But the match never took place. It was promised and it was never taken place. And that's why so many of the contendants are coming over here. Ric Flair, the man that is noted around the world to be the champion of the world. That's the NWA, the longest, the oldest title held in the world. Cannot be the champ. This is not a closed circuit. Anyone wishing to come here and fly for your position here at International Championship Wrestling, you can do so. The only belt that we recognize is the NWA. And we recognize the Universal Champion. We 
eventually will be having an international champion. But still, this has to go out, ranks, wins, losses, and they, those will be tallied, and then the top men will have to fight for that position, and that's why you see guys like Dr. Schultz pop back. Oh, a rake to the eyes by Rod. Here he goes. We said a little scientific, but he went right back. What exciting news we have for you wrestling fans. We're going to blow you out of your seats with what we got to tell you. But we got to keep this secret. But you keep tuned. Within the next four or five weeks, we're going to give you some news that's just going to blow your minds out there. One, two. Takes him up. Now for the slam goes Rods. Rods with the knee to the to the knee of, of Backlund and he's just pushing in. Referee telling him to break it. There's the count. Two. I'll tell you, after that match we see with Schultz and, and Savoldi, these referees better get strict in here because they lost it on that one. Rods is pounding away on Backlund. But Backlund's been known to take Oh, nice move by Backlund. You're tough, you're mean, and you're bad. <laughs> 